I saw the job advertised on the internet and thought, okay, I'll have a go and apply. And then after I'd applied and the principal got back to me, I thought, oh, okay, I might need to make a bit more of an inquiry as to where about Jindamu is. And couldn't even pronounce the name of the community when I first applied. It was something that I'd always wanted to do, to move to Australia, and I decided that it was now or never to do it. The requirement for my visa is that I have to live here for two years, and then I can go anywhere within Australia. And at the minute I'm enjoying living and working in the Northern Territory. It's great fun, never have um, any days that are the same. Every day is different, and the children are starting to really respond. It takes a while to make up the um, links with their families and with them and getting to know the children. But once you get to know them and you have to take the time and put the effort in, then they're like, they're so honoured that you're their teacher. It's a completely different way of life. Um, it's a completely different culture. You feel really privileged that they're sharing and they want to share and they'll come up to you like, the um, last term, one of the children came and brought me a present, which in England would be a box of chocolates or a bubble bath, but I ended up with a baby kangaroo, so I got a Marlou given to me. <laughs> England, where I lived, was quite built up. It, I was 30 minutes from the coast. Well, it's nothing like that here. <laughs> I drive 300k just to go to the shops. It's just completely different. You certainly remember to buy your milk in Alice Springs because otherwise you go about for three weeks. <laughs>